In the previous video, we had an overview of the graph data structure. In this video, let's learn how to represent a graph in code. Now graphs are commonly represented in two ways. One, using an adjacency matrix, or two, using an adjacency list. Let's learn about adjacency matrix in this video. An adjacency matrix is a 2D array of size V cross V where V is the number of vertices in the graph. Each row and column represent a vertex. If the value of any element, say matrix of I of J is one, it represents that there is an edge connecting vertex I and vertex J. Here is a graph and its corresponding adjacency matrix. We have three vertices, A, B, and C. We have the vertices as both rows and columns on the left-hand side. One in the matrix indicates an edge connecting the two vertices. Since we have an undirected graph, A is connected to B, B is connected to A, B is also connected to C, and C is connected to B. To represent this matrix in JavaScript, we use a 2D array. So const matrix is equal to an array and within the array, we add sub arrays for each vertex. We have three vertices, so we add three arrays. In each array, we add three items to map the edges from one vertex to the other. We've seen this in the matrix in the slide, so let me go over it fairly quick. The first subarray is for vertex A. A is not connected to A itself. A is connected to B. A is not connected to C. Similarly, for vertex B, it is connected to A since we are dealing with undirected graphs. B is not connected to itself and B is also connected to C. Finally, C is not connected to A C is connected to B and C is not connected to C. If we log matrix of 0 and 1, run the code, we get back 1 since a connection exists from A to B. Similarly, adjacency matrix of 1, 2, run the code, returns 1 as a connection exists from B to C. If we try 0 and 0, run the code, we get back 0 as A does not contain a self-loop. This pretty much is the adjacency matrix representation of the graph from our slide. In the next video, let's take a look at the adjacency list representation.